Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be playing some Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Yes, the screen is black right now. I know that's because if you look down in the bottom left, I don't know why I... I'm obviously not pointing left just because I have myself mirrored. Fuck, I messed it up. Anyway, it is great to be playing this game again. It's uh, it's not a game that most people consider a classic, but it's one of the games that I played during my early childhood and during my develop developmental stages, the uh, during the uh, abuse and all of those things. So it was it was one of the games that I played to escape, and it feels really good to be playing it again. I wanted to make sure that I had the webcam before I started playing games like this, just so that you guys can see my reactions when I have my nostalgia nostalgasms. N nostalgia orgasm nostalgasms it's it's a thing it'll start i know it will anyway i got my pop tarts which uh yeah those were not during my developmental phase i just like pop tarts and i have a bunch of them i got a huge box of them i'm sure i showed it on camera before but got a huge box of pop tarts got my water bottle got my gum got my rubik's cube which i almost accidentally threw across the room oops and, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and click. You can see my mouse right here. I just got to click on this because if I click off of this, it stops going. So just click on it. And... It's glorious. I love it. Oh, I miss this game so much. Not enough for me. You know what? Go with headphones. Don't ever do it, but I have to. Mm, that pixelated noise. I don't know how noise is pixelated. It's pixelated. Uh... Anyway, I figured I'd go ahead and say this now. If you guys enjoy this, go ahead and let me know. Um because just views don't really help, likes don't help either, and honestly, I don't have enough subscribers to even give a shit about subscribers. So if you guys uh, end up enjoying this, you want to see me play more of it, leave me a comment below. I mean, channel is small enough, I do read every single comment I get, so... Uh, this is emulated, of course. Uh, my hard version of it is downstairs on a dresser somewhere. So I don't actually know what the controls are. I believe enter is start. And then, yep. Right, let's go with color mode. What do I have is A. There it is. A is Z, apparently. What color mode is best? I think I'm going to go with the blue. All right. Let's play it. Oh, that's right! We get to hit mute with snowballs! This is gonna be awesome. He's going down. Wait, where's mute? Oh, he's over there by me. He's in the green, with the white stripe. And I'm wearing the scarf. Because I'm badass, I wear scarves. In the middle of winter. Also got, like, bunny earmuffs. What is this guy's name? I know one of these guys' names is Philip. And I'm fairly sure my face is covering his right now. I'm going to go ahead and check that. I'm terribly sorry, but I do believe... Yes, my face is covering his. Aw, oh, man, why do I get stuck on the weak team? I'm just gonna lose. Where's the fun in that? I'm on your team, bro. How are you gonna lose? I'm awesome at snowball fights. I was amazing. I'll get my mouse off the screen here. Oops, nope. I'm just an idiot. There. I hope you guys can't see that. No, you guys can't see that. Okay. Hey, Mute! Where's your little bear today? Oh, he's like me. He brought bears to school. I forgot about that. Looks like such a dumbass. He don't want his precious bear to get wet in the snow. <laughs> Just like your mom last night, bro. Oh, suck on that. I think your name is Kyle or something like that. Aw, did your mommy give you that bear? They all have, like, the sort of generic voice, because I can't... I don't do voices that much. What's your problem, new kid? Leave him alone. He's not going to say anything anyway. He's like a little girl. And then Ritz steps in. Yep. Hey, that's gender discrimination. And I know some little girls who can kick your butt. Yeah. Little girls, they kick all sorts of ass. Whoa, Ritz, what's your problem? 
You don't want to be on that team, right? How about we switch? Would that be better? Let's start already. You should speak up. Tell them your name at least. You can't be the new kid forever. Get to say my name. Oh, that's right. It's defaulted to March. Uh, delete. There we go. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, Ben. You don't have to apologize, Mute. You haven't done anything wrong. Da, 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 da. The music! Okay, Mr. Leslie, we're ready to go. Is that Leslie or Leslie? Like, I don't know. Then let's get this snowball fight started. Ready? And now Rich teaches me how to have a snowball fight. And we're gonna hit mute a ton of times. Unless we accidentally miss, which I hate when that happens. Got used to the snow in St. Ivalice yet, Ben? Is, is it Ivalice? Ivalice? I think in Tactics of War of the Lion they call it Evil. I, I don't even fucking know. much warmer where you come from, isn't it? No, I live in Wisconsin. It's cold. And hot. It's blazing hot in the summer, freezing cold in the winter. Yes, sir. Never snowed. That's right. I live in Florida. This is practically my first snowball fight. Really? Then let me give you some pointers. Ritz, could you help us out? Yes, Mr. Leslie. Kids with the highest speed move first. Once your turn comes around, first you have to move, or you can act and then move. I think that's what this one had, right? That you could move and act, or act and move, and you didn't have to actually confirm your move like you do in tactics. You can only go a set distance, so think first, then move. I need to get that thief hat. I think that's what it was in this that increased your moving speed, or that might have changed tactics. When the menu isn't up, press the B button to see your move range. Which I think it's B to get out of the menu, B to see the move range. You can redo a move as many times as you want. Ready to move? Okay, now that you're in position, you can throw a snowball and miss. Choose Snowball from the Action menu. This is just complete fourth wall break the entire time. The green colored panels show your throwing range. Now choose where you want to aim within that range. If no one from the other team is in range, just wait. Or you can spar and hit your own people in the back of the head to gain XP. Waiting makes your next turn come around quicker. Okay, here it goes. Yeah! Whew, missed. Once you've thrown, you have to choose a facing. Once you've chosen a facing, your turn ends. Understand? Repeat lesson. Hail now. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Riz, Mr. Leslie. Let's get back to the snowball fight, though. Good luck, man. What? I always wanted to attend this school because the teacher actually endorses snowball fights at school. Recess would be amazing. The only difference is I don't get recess anymore because high school sucks. Shit, what's my select? Is it shift? What is my select? Tab? Uh oh. I don't have a select. Shit. Alt? Nope, that didn't do anything. That just froze it. I paused it. Control? Control didn't do shit. 
uh, problems. Space is speed up. What is shift? Or select? I don't know. I'm dumb. I haven't used the emulator in forever. Oh, well, I don't use select anyway. Right, move. Hold over here. Snowball. Hit mute. Take that. Hey, ya. Lyle, that's what it was. And Guinness! Guinness was one. No, Guinness is the guy with the blue cap, I think. Right? Lyle, Colin, and Guinness. I think that's what it was. And then the chick... Uh... I don't know. Something wrong with her. Ah, there's a trick to throwing a snowball, too. Hit people from behind or from the side. It's easier to hit someone from the side or behind. Think about which way your opponent's facing when you move. I'll stop doing that as much after the nostalgia starts to wear off a bit and I start to get back into the game itself. Letish, Let Letitia? Actually, I didn't see. That guy's name is Guinness, right? Yep. And Clementina. I remember having a Nomua named Baldwin at the time and I thought that was funny. And then I had a human named Benjamin. Hit mute. Take him down. Hey, there's a rock in that snowball. Nope, oh, sucks to be mute. Alright, Clementina has to hit him. Come on, Clementina. You missed, you dumb bitch! We were gonna make mute faint, damn it! Of course, not get to. Just skip for a second. Hey, no running away, mute. But that's what mute does best. <laughs> oh. Do. Oh. Will you two stop it? What? We're not breaking any rules. Sure, you've been aiming at Mute this whole time. Well, to be honest, Ritz, you actually hit him twice, so... Are you okay, Mute? Yeah, I'm fine. See? He says he's fine. So what's the problem? He knows you'd pick on him worse if he said anything else. Was that Colin that just threw that? Ouch! Mute, your forehead is bleeding. Huh? There was a rock in that snowball. Hey, I didn't throw any rocks. It's Mute's fault for being so lame. He's an easy target. We've got to get points, right? There aren't even a judge points in this battle. So the end justifies the means? You guys are horrible. Whatever you say, Whitey Locks. What did you call me? That's foreshadowing, by the way. We know you dye your hair because it's really all white. Oh, I guess they do explain it right now. I don't remember that. Yeah, it's just like an old grandma. Ha <laughs> ha. Little prissy grandma. Step over here and say that again. Yellow card. Children, behave! The snowball fight is over. Lyle, Colin, Guinness, I want you to come with me. Mute, how's your forehead? 
Right, that's a dick teacher. It's okay. Fine, really. Just like, yeah, me and your forehead's fine. That's it. We're all leaving. No. Real teacher goes, are you okay? You okay? Are you, f are you okay? Let me, let me, let me see your forehead. Let me look at it. Let me kiss it better. Need a band-aid. Yeah. I had a goose egg on my forehead one time and the teacher would not leave the fuck alone. Smack my face. Well, I smacked my nose and my forehead on a metal bar that was guarding a window because I was going after a kickball. It broke my nose. That's it for class today. The rest of you can go home. Oops. Gotta get on the mouse again. Uh, um... Thank you. Can't stand bullies who pick on little kids. Those jerks. So Ben, what are you doing after this? Huh? Why? I was gonna go buy this book. And I was wondering if you wanted to come along. Sorry, I can't. My little brother's getting out of the hospital today. Hospital? Was he sick? No, it's something he was born with. We have to take him to the hospital every now and then. Wow, that's rough. What kind of book are you going to buy? It's about monsters and magic and stuff like that. Why don't you bring it over to my house? I'm sure Don and my brother would love to see it. Well, if you're sure, it's okay. Absolutely. Why don't you come too, Ritz? That's my boy. Me? Um, gee. I guess I don't have any other plans. Okay. Great. You two know where my house is. It's the yellow house, right? I'll come over as soon as I buy that book. I'll be waiting. Gosh, I'm really sorry. Uh oh. Really, really sorry. Please accept my apologies. Mr. Randall, we expect a certain level of performance, regardless of circumstances. It won't happen again. Don't worry, I'll fix things up here. Oh, thanks, thanks. Thank you for waiting, shall we? Cringing like that. Embarrassing. Mute? Mute, is that you? Hi, Dad. School's out already? Yeah. These your friends? Um... Don't you still have work to do, Dad? Ah, yes. You know, busy, busy, busy. You all keep an eye on mute for me, eh? What was all that about? at a bigger company before. When Mom died, he stopped caring. He broke down big time. He seems nice. How many parents talk to their kids like that? I bet you used to go out on vacations and stuff a lot. That's a dumb assumption. Well, we'll be waiting for you at my place. See you guys. See ya. Dude, how much do you know about Ben? I guess your family has had its problems too. 
But I heard that Ben doesn't have a dad. Bye guys.